Hey guys, what's up? Um, welcome to another video. So, in this episode, uh, in this video, basically, I'm going to explain how the markets in depth. Um, so I know I said this differently last time. Um, so, uh, all right, I know I said this differently last time. I said the markets were going to go down. They did for a little bit. Um, and now we have some new developing information and some new pattern, uh, strategy patterns. And you know what? It still could break it down. All right. So it, there's still possibility, but I'm just going to show you both sides, compare and contrast each other. So here we go. So as I hear, have right here, I have my main robots and you can see I've been drawing some trends. Um, so I think that we are in a double triangle. All right, so here I'm just going to turn everything off. All right, so this could be a few things. All right, so as you can see, I we have an ascending triangle pattern. Um, this could be a um, well. See, that's that's the issue though. Um, so since I made that video, there's not that much resistance anymore, um, especially on the main ones. So like if I go like that, there's not much resistance. It broke that resistance, and the only resistance that it could possibly have is that resistance right there. I mean, there's a ton of other resistances, but um, just in general, as you can see, uh, we have downward trend. So there, okay. There's basically I'm saying that there's more patterns in the candles that um, suggest that it's going to go up. So we have a huge breakdown. Then we have a double bottom up consolidation and another pull up and a jump up all right boom spikes down another pull up just just like this over here then a spike all the way up and now we're we dropped all the way down and we're just making it through here which means any day now it can pop up here or go down here making it in a triangle pattern and if it's up I don't want to say the real I don't want to say the statistics but based on my research um, and especially with um, TQQ, there's about a 70, I mean a 70 to 75% chance of that pattern working, uh, especially da up, uh, especially ascending triangles. And we have an ascending triangle right here. Uh, so that means it can go up higher or it can break down lower. Uh, but just looking off of this, just looking off of the charts, you have, yeah, just, just want to make sure I'm recording. Just by looking off the charts, it can break down or up. Um, so that's what I am thinking. And as you can see, it's during the election. So, I mean, I don't really have to worry about that. But um, today, especially, is a day that is kind of looking like earlier in the day. Uh, earlier in the month, I'm sorry. Um, so it's kind of looking like this piece right here. Look at strong upward push. Here, I'm just going to get the candles move in where is it bar all right boom kind of looks pretty much like that all right right there so that means that what's going to happen after that is there's going to be a spike up um so if we take the last few and we go like that and we drag it all the way up here that's what the connect that's where it should connect um, but of course I, we don't think that we're not, we're not thinking that silly, but, um, as you can see right there, let's just squish it in. Let's think that that's going to happen. Boom. What do we think is going to happen right there? It can go up or it can go down at that point. And as we're getting tighter and tighter and tighter, we are trading within, um, more volatile areas. Uh, like this morning, uh, as you can see, shoot. Let's get a chart up, trade entry. Okay, let's get a chart up. All right, so if you can see right here, shoot, give me a second. I got to add the thing. Progression trend. All right, yeah, there it goes. It shows. All right, so if I draw, if I keep going up there, um, you can see it draws the trend line for me. And if we just look a bit 
and we see are seeing all of this we have our tops and those perfectly work look at boom 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 and we're in an ascending pattern right now uh, which is good it's a great it's a great pattern all right so since we have been on a downtrend this morning we went on an uptrend and then a downtrend this is possibly a double bottom and I know the markets not closed yet it's 105 or I think it is yeah 106 now mountain standard time um, the market if this is a double bottom which it could be because it happened right here too it happened right here with its massive in this day right there so it's trading within a channel I, I, I feel like it's trading a channel and if we could say that it's trading in a channel that's pretty much what I think I mean it bounced off of this middle part which is dead on um, but it's getting to a resistance point it's getting to a support or a resistance and that I think that'll make or break everything and just in general because if it breaks right now then we're gonna have massive downtrending and we're gonna see everything happen again I, I, I what I talked about in the last episode but um, what we're seeing right now is a massive push up a pullback and what is this a possible reversal pullback or is this a um, is this a real pullback um, and I think that we this might just be a pullback but we don't really know we're not really sure all right so I'm just drawing our little tiny triangles right here and usually when we are in an ascending triangle we make uh, more little tiny triangles so um, I'm just drawing all the triangles and they work out pretty darn well uh, considering everything that's going that's going on so as you can see here we have a resistance point right here we have a support point and right here we have a resist support point over here and we bust through that boom take a support boom and is this a support like it did right here I don't know it's really freaking looking like it but we you don't have to take my advice you don't have to take it you don't have to take it I'm just showing you all right um, you don't have to take my advice I'm just I'm just talking about it all right um, and I just think that this might happen but let's ju let's just go through all the uh, possible scenarios so first I'm gonna I, I taught you guys how to do this in a few other episodes okay so we have a support line there we have a resistance we have a resistance to I, did, I, I grabbed the wrong one okay uh, horizontal line we have a resistance and we have a support right there and so yeah we're kind of looking like that so let's just see what what around this price has gone down like this all right so that kind of looks like this so let's take that and it matches up pretty darn perfectly with our resistance there and just in general all right so let's label this as red and let's label this as green yeah that's green already and let's label this as blue all right so as you can see we have our few different patterns and yeah just in general we have our candle patterns and I don't know what you want to do with that those candle patterns but it sure looks like this all right so this morning as you can see the big spike up and then it drops down or drops up but we are in a special situation right here is it gonna go up or is it gonna go down we have no idea but we can only think that it's gonna go up because currently it's on its upward trend um, yeah um, so there's a few different scenarios here um, it breaks up here uh, it uses this as a resistance kind of doing this so let's add that to the equation let's just go uh, let's go like that let's go like that all right and let's size it appropriately size it appropriately and it could be doing something like that uh, I think it's gonna be a little bit taller though and in fact it might break up too um, so there's a few different I told you there's there's just, there's just a few different scenarios and possibilities where this can happen in general so take it for whatever you want but now we're gonna do a little bit of news so I'm gonna get to my news bit alright guys so I just 
did uh, a little bit of research, and if we actually look right here, shoot, sorry. So if we actually look, sorry, that was kind of long. So if we look at today, if we look at today, um, as you can see, it's still using the trend, which is a really big thing for us because if it's still using the trend, meaning it's still up trending, it has room to grow. And once it's in a trend, um, it stays in the trend for a little bit. Of, it stays in the trend for a little bit of time. So that's what we're thinking. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the news bit. All right, so I just pretty much scanned this thing. And I'm gonna. This is pretty much something that everyone can see. Um, but people are just wondering why the heck isn't uh, new regulations on COVID uh, slowing down the market? Well, it's because investors don't care. They are not scared anymore of the, anything bad COVID related. So, just in general, just in general, they have not been as scared, and that's how the market has been recovering so fast. I mean, thank you. I mean, because of the stimulus and stuff, that that's how the market recovered. But um, just in general, um, you know, just in general, you can see just pushes and pushes and pushes, and it's not all because of the government stimulus. It's all. It's pretty much because of us, the people. That's what makes the stock market go up or down. So when people start mass selling the stock price is going to go down. But if people start mass buying, that's going to start what's going on. And people, they're just not scared of it anymore. Um, and we've shown that because of this massive thing since March. I mean, just massive volume and pushing. So just in general, just in general, um, that's what I'm talking about. All right, and then uh, we have a few major stuff going on. We have... I mean, we have coronavirus um, stuff around the market. So, the great uh, rotation, it's basically saying that the economic recovery of the U.S. is is um, is basically in market security. Since Joe, and I'm talking about the, the future president, Joe Biden, and well, we don't know about that yet, but like, I'm saying just in general his policies are more um, focused on stimulating the stimulating the and what's it called um, the market with uh, stimulus deals um, healthcare just everything just pumping money into the market practically um, people are seeing that as wow that's a green light for us to go I mean just look at that we're chugging it along so the market likes that idea and even though the cases are just up and in everything, it doesn't really matter. Um, just in general, because they like the security. So look at this. Read next. Biden's coronavirus advisor wants to shut down the economy. Here's what that might look like. The S&P 500. I'll just look okay. at. Um, oh yeah. Also, um, new vaccine developments. Just like. Um, I mean, that could just be pushing the market in general because that in, that is just so amazing. I mean, that's the fastest vaccine that's ever came out, ever, and it's still coming out, but, I mean, it's the fastest one that's closest to be released. The average vaccine takes two to five years to make, and even then it could still get rejected. Now, this one is, what's it called, six months, seven months? What's the date today? Let's see since March. November. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Let's just go 9. Almost 9 months now they have developed it. Just like that. Super simple. I mean, like, that that's crazy. That's insanely good. So the market still could have room to grow in general. So I'm... I'm not that worried, and I still think the market has room to push up. Um, now, I did say in my other video, I mean, we were right here. We were right here when I made that video, and I posted it, alright? Um, no one could no one could really see this trend right here. Um, no one could really see that it was an ascending triangle. 
Um, I actually posted it this mo the morning of November 10th. You can go to look at that. I'll link it somewhere. Um, but it drops, and I I did it in the morning. All right, and I recorded it the or yesterday, the day before, and I posted it in the morning. So yeah, you can just go look at that. All right. So now that we have more information, it's starting to develop into something else, and that could just be anything. So now that we're in an ascending triangle pattern, anything is possible. Um, yeah. So that's how what how I think of the market. And um, actually, yeah, let's actually take a look at some other stuff. I'm not done yet. All right. So NQ1, Nasdaq futures. Uh, let's go on the one hour chart because that's where you can see most of the patterns that are good. All right. So. Uh, we have uh, a support right there. We have a support right there. We have a support. We have a resistance. We have a resistance. And then we have a, another resistance up here. And then we have a, another resistance right there. And then support. All right, so as you can see, our current trend levels are at a pretty much breaking point right now. But if this went down, and I think this is mirroring this, in my other episode, I basically said uh, it's mirroring uh, the other side. And as you can see, we can see that right there. We have consolidation, consolidation. So it's a big thing. Is it going to go down or up? Um, so if we draw the trend lines, and let's just say we draw them like that. And let's just say we have the res those are the resistance points right there. Drops way down, support, resistance, support. Let's just say that's resistance. Now we're at the bottom of this. Is it going to push up or is it going to go down? You know, so it's whatever. Um, but certainly, I mean, I talked about downward pressure the other day. And so we have this downward pressure right here. Downward pressure, downward pressure, but we have this all, we have all of this upward pressure too. And everyone's just thinking, well, the stock market's going to go up anyways, and they're all basing it off of that. So just a ton of upward pressure. So we don't really have to like think about much. Um, so I think on the kind of long term, I'm thinking that it's going to go up this month. And we'll check the statistics on that, but um, yeah, what other time is it looking like this? Let's just take some candle patterns and let's see what's going on here. Right, let's go and look for perfect ones. So let's just see. Hmm. Where could this fit? It could fit right there, but it'd be really small. It could fit right here and be stretched out a little bit. It could be all right. It could be right. See if we can stretch this all the way. Nope. Where does it, okay? Where does it show this one? This pattern kind of looks like this. It does look like this, which means, um, well, this is basically saying that it could probably probably go down. Uh, kind of looks like that. Uh, but it could look like that too. So it doesn't really matter. Um, make your own decisions. Um, don't really. I'm just saying right here, like right now, I think it's going to go up. All right. I mean, next week, if you're taking a swing trade, I mean, it's a good, it's a good trade. So I'm not really going to be angry at anyone. If they disagree with me, you can have a comment in the, you can have an opinion in the comment section. I don't really care. Um, I actually will respond to you though in um 
actually will respond to you so like and subscribe because I actually try I'm trying to make as much content as possible and I know I'm only 16 but I have been trading for three years now um, I, just, I just thought I might share that out because if I look a little bit young um, you know that's how it is all right so I don't sell any courses I don't make any money off of YouTube I just do it because I like stocks and I also like to talk to people about stocks in fact um, I'm Host it. I'm basically teaching, I think, um, five people personally right now how to um, how to trade, and um, I'll give their names out right now. And then I'm also combining with other YouTubers in Colorado and stuff like that. So, um, thanks for watching. Um, make your own decisions on the market. I'm, I'm looking at the price right now because I'm seeing if. Yeah, so it looks like it just did a double bottom. I know you can't see what I see right now, but it looks like it just did a double bottom and set on its way up. So thanks for watching. See you later.